given by Jean. And his evaluator is Sruti. Sruti, will you please stand up and give and tell us what his objectives are for this Sure. Jean is on Pathways. The purpose of his speech is to learn and review basic research methods and present a well-organized, well-researched speech on any topic. His timing parameters are five to seven minutes. Thank you. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Who do you admire the most? Would you pause and think about it? Probably. <laughs> Me, I want my, the person I admire to have certain qualities and characteristics that I'd like to emulate into the future. Number one, they have to be rich. <laughs> According to Forbes, this man is worth $18.6 billion. My idol also needs to be an entrepreneur. And this entrepreneur has, is the CEO of two companies and current, his co has co-founded two, or he has co-founded at least five companies. And my idol is trying to revolutionize the world. My idol is trying to revolutionize the world in three distinct ways. One is solving the energy crisis. Two is making humans an interplanetary species. And three, trying to solve traffic congestion problems. And I will walk through every single one of these. Let's start with the energy crisis. According to an article authored by Richard Miller and Stephen Sorrell titled The Future of Oil Supply published in the Philosophical Transaction of Royal Society, oil accounts for more than, more than one third of global primary energy supply and more than 95% of the energy use. It is a finite resource and it is quickly diminishing. As such, in our search for renewable energy, we've turned away from gas-powered vehicles to electric-powered vehicles. From his years of being a main investor to now, in 2008, becoming the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk has established a network of supercharging stations across the, U across the U.S. And this has allowed future electric cars to be able to refill without any kind of range anxiety. As according to the Department of Energy, as of June 2017, the average distance between these supercharging stations is only 67 miles. In addition, Tesla has come up with the Powerwall, which takes solar energy and converts it to electricity for not just the car, but also for the home. Next, and bringing up uh, SpaceX, where Elon Musk is trying to move people to Mars. According to the SpaceX website, his vision is to revolutionize space technology and ultimate goal of enabling people to live on other planets. A 2018 article titled The Impact of Lower Launch Cost on Space Life Support by Harry Jones, a NASA researcher, said that at one time it costed NASA $1.5 billion to send a payload to low Earth orbit. With SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, the payload now costs $62 million. So that's more than a tenfold reduction. Okay, next. 
On the image on the left is one of the Falcon 9 rockets having sent a Tesla into space, and it's now heading towards Mars. And on the right is a CEO of himself, Yasuka Maizawa, who will be riding on a Falcon 9 rocket to catapult himself around the moon. All of this raising interest into space explorations. Finally, for traffic, traffic congestion solving, solving traffic congestion problems is the Boring Company. And I just wanted to show this tweet of how it originated the company. Elon Musk says in December of 2016, traffic is driving me nuts and I'm going to build a tunnel, boring machine, and just start digging. Then it shall be called the Boring Company. Boring, it's what we do. I am actually going to do this. And lo and behold, the boring company. It was intended to relieve urban area congestion of cities. What boring company is trying to do is add high speed train transportation or transport vehicles across tunnels. And it is a good idea. Tunnels provide an advantage to not being too affected by weather nor does it divide communities and barriers. According to a 1994 article published in the American Scientist titled The Economics of Traffic of Congestion, expanding the road is typically ineffective and counterproductive. With this ever-changing landscape, maybe tunneling would be a very viable solution. If you want to continue to follow along in all these new endeavors that Elon Musk is planning, you should follow along in these websites and also the book that I read. I really love it. <laughs> <laughs> all Toastmasters. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Gene, Elon Musk. I really enjoyed listening to your speech. One thing that is really interesting about your speech are the slides. The slides were really engaging to me. When you showed the Twitter feed, it generated some humor with the audience. You started with a question about who your role model is. It's very interesting. And the way you have segregated or the paragraphs that you had, first you talked about Tesla, which is the ground transportation and then you talked about uh, the burning, the boring company uh, venture and also then you mentioned about uh, SpaceX. So all these three topics are definitely the current topics that we usually talk about. I think the outline of your speech was really perfect and the transitions between all these three ventures have been smooth. So the slides are great and it was uh, evident that you have done a lot of research in having all the content together and presenting it in front of all of us. Uh, though there was some technical glitch, the clicker wasn't working. I think it happens to us sometimes every now and then, but you didn't stop or didn't panic. You tried to move and you completed your presentation in a good way. If I had to recommend few things that, that you could work on, first thing would be eye contact. So instead of looking straight, I suggest you to look around the audience so that you can make the connection and the audience can connect with you as well. The second area of improvement is to walk around and use the stage a little bit. Instead of parking yourself right here, maybe go around and have a conversation or when you're talking, look into them and have a connection. Also, vocal variety uh, would be one area that you could focus on on your next speech. To summarize, uh, great work on your uh, speech. The slides were great. You have done a lot of research. I am actually looking forward to hear more excellent speeches from you.
Tonight, we reached another milestone. And we're so happy that we could celebrate with Shereen and John, who completed tonight level one. Oh. Thank you.